Welcome to Counters. In this lesson, we are going to be looking at the consolidated statement of profit or loss. This is our first lesson on this topic. You'll find the following lessons in the links in the description below. It's going to be a simple lesson. We don't have complications like the intra-group trading, the intra-group dividends, and media acquisitions. We'll look at that in our next lessons as you'll find them in the links in the description below. Here, we're just going to see how we consolidate the statement of profit or loss. We've also looked at the consolidated statement of financial position or the consolidated balance sheet. If you'd like to check those ones out, you'll also find the links to those lessons in the description below. But here is what we say. Consolidated financial statements are the financial statements of a group presented as those of a single economic entity. And we find that in IFRS 10. When a parent company issues consolidated financial statements, it should consolidate all subsidiaries, both domestic and foreign. The first step in any consolidation is to identify the subsidiaries using the definitions as set out in IFRS 10. So this is what we are saying. When a company is consolidating its financial statements, it's consolidating all its subsidiaries, regardless of how many they may be. Now let's look at the basic steps we follow when we are consolidating the statement of profit or loss. Consolidation of the statement of profit or loss includes the following procedures. The first one is that 100% of the subsidiary's results are consolidated in order to show the results arising under group control. So that's what makes it very simple. We are consolidating 100% of the subsidiary's results. So all the way from our sales, our cost of sales, our operating expenses, and then our income tax expense, we are consolidating everything, meaning we are adding together everything line by line. And like I said, this is a simple one where we don't have those complications as I mentioned in the beginning. The whole of the subsidiary's results is included up to the profit for the year without reference to group share or non-controlling interest. So when you're adding them up, just note that the subsidiary's result is included all the way from the very beginning, from revenue or the sales, all the way up to the profit for the year without referencing the group share or non-controlling interest. That is, without indicating what belongs to the group and what belongs to the non-controlling interest interest a reconciliation is then inserted to show the ownership of the profits so as you can see here what we are doing is that we are doing the consolidation all the way from revenue to the profit for the year so we're just adding together the parents and the subsidiaries depending on how many they are and then after that we do a reconciliation where we show the ownership of the profits and you'll see just now as we'll be going through an example the reconciliation should be completed in the following order. So after adding together everything up to the profit for the year, the reconciliation should be completed in this order. Fill in the total profit for the year. So you'll put in the total profit for the year. And the second thing you'll do is you'll calculate the NCI or the non-controlling interest share of the profit. And how do we do that? We take the NCI percentage or the non-controlling interest percentage and we multiply that by the subsidiary's profit after tax. And it's very important to note this where students make mistake is that they use the group profit instead of the subsidiary's profit after tax. Don't forget to take that. You're taking the subsidiary's profit after tax and you're multiplying it by the non-controlling interest percentage. And then the last thing you look at is that the balancing figure will be the amount attributable to the members of the parent. So the balancing figure is the amount that will be left behind for the members of the parent company. I hope it's making sense, but you'll get this just now. So let's go through an example in showing you how we do the consolidated statement of profit or loss. Here's an example. We are told that Coco Limited acquired 75% of the ordinary shares of Chapel Limited, which it has owned since Chapel Limited's incorporation. The summary statements of profit or loss of the two companies for the year ending 29 February 2020 are given below. And you can see here in yellow, we have Coco Limited, which is the parent company, and Chapel Limited, which is its subsidiary because Coco Limited owns 75%. Now, how are we going to do this? Like I mentioned, we're going to add together all these elements here, all the way from sales to the profit for the year, both for the parent plus the subsidiaries. So let's start. 
The first thing that we're going to do here is to add the sales together. We take the 87,000 Rand, which is for Coco Limited, the parent company, plus the 45,000 Rand, which is Chapel Limited's sales, and we'll get an answer of 132,000 Rand. And then we add together the cost of sales, which is the 54,000 Rand, plus the 19,000 Rand, and it will give us an amount of 73,000 Rand. And then we just obviously total that up. We can add the gross profit for the parent and the subsidiary, or you can just take the 132,000 minus the 73,000 rand, and it will give you an amount of 59,000 rand. And then once we've done that, we add together all the operating expenses. Now, the question says these are the summarized statement of profit or loss. So that means we didn't show each line item of the expenses. We just showed you the total of the operating expenses, but the principle is the same. If you have all the expenses lined up, you just add the two together, the one for the subsidiary, together with the one for the parent company, and then you will have your amount for your consolidated statement of profit or loss. But here, our operating expenses is one figure. It's the 13,500 rand for the parent, plus the 9,800 for the subsidiary. And obviously they're both in negative, so it gives us an amount of 23,300 rand. And now that we have that, we're just going to take the 59,000 minus the 23,300 rand, and it will give us the group profit before tax, which is 35,700 rand. Once we have done that, we just need to add together the income tax expense, and it gives us an amount of 9,996 rand. And after we have done that, we just get our profit for the year, which is the 35,700 rand minus the 9,996, and it gives us the profit for the year of 25,704. Now we have just done everything. We've just added together line by line. That's as easy as it can get. And now how does our consolidated statement of profit or loss look? We have the name of the parent company, Coco Limited, and we have here the name of the statement, which is the consolidated statement of profit or loss for the year ended 29 February 2020. And you can see it's everything that we had added up in our previous slide. And you have here the profit of 25,704 rand. And now we show what belongs to the group and what belongs to the non-controlling interest. So how do we do that? So the first thing that we do is that we note down that profit attributable to, and then the first one there is owners of the parent, and then the second one is the non-controlling interest. Now, after we have done everything, we have added everything together until the profit for the year, we write down profit attributable to, and then it's the owners of the parent and non-controlling interest. So we have to show of this 25,704, how much belongs to the owners of the parent and how much belongs to non-controlling interest. Now, if you remember the steps we had mentioned in the beginning, what do you do? You put the total down here, the 25,704 rand. And once you have done that, we calculate our non-controlling interest. Remember the formula we said you use when you're calculating the non-controlling interest. You take the non-controlling interest percentage and you multiply that by the subsidiary's profit after tax. So we have to find what the non-controlling interest percentage is and what the subsidiary's profit after tax is. Is. So let's go back to our question. We know that the parent company Coco Limited acquired 75%. That means that the remaining percentage belongs to non-controlling interest. So obviously 100% minus 75% gives you 25%. That's how much belongs to NCI or the non-controlling interest. And what is the subsidiary's profit for the year? Well, if you go down here, you can see here we have subsidiary's profit for the year. It's 11,664 rand. So what are we going to do? We're going to take 25% times the 11,664 rand, the subsidiary's profit for the year. Don't forget that. And that will give us an answer of 2,916 rand. And as you can see here, we have done it in brackets, 25% times 11,664 rand. Now that we have done that, remember we said that in the steps that you follow, the last thing that you do is that the balancing figure will be the owners of the parent's share of the profits. So we're going to take the 25,704 rand minus the 2,916 rand and it will give us the parent's share of the profits, which is the 22,788 rand, which is the balancing figure. I hope it has made sense and it was simple enough. You can see here, the first thing we did is to calculate the non-controlling interest 
and we take the non-controlling percentage which you take the hundred percent minus the parents percentage share and then we'll get the 25 percent and we'll multiply that by the subsidiaries profit for the year and it will give us our non-controlling interest profit share and then we take the total 25,704 rand minus the 2,916 rand and it will give us the 22,788 rand which is the balancing figure i hope it's made sense I hope you have gained value. You can go into the links in the description below and look at our second lesson on this topic where you gain further understanding on the consolidated statement of profit or loss. Or you can check out our other lessons on the consolidated statement of financial position. If it has made sense, if you have gained value from this lesson, please subscribe to our channel, like this video, and share it to those you think it might help. Till next time. Cheers.